In 1798, when the duck-billed platypus was first discovered in Australia, scientists in London encountered a perplexing problem. They were unable to classify the animal into any existing category. With its unique combination of features such as its duck-like bill, webbed feet, it lays eggs like a reptile or bird, but feeds milk to its young like a mammal, and has venom like a reptile, the platypus challenged the traditional system of classification based on physical characteristics. This was just one example of the challenges that arise from the classification of knowledge. Throughout history, the categorization of information, ideas, and objects has been a fundamental part of human understanding. However, as knowledge advances, new discoveries challenge existing classification systems, and new issues arise. In this video, we will explore the various problems that arise from the classification of knowledge and discuss some of the ways in which different fields are attempting to address them. Welcome to TOK Today. Please subscribe and like, to support our knowledge community. The challenges arising from systems of classification of knowledge are numerous and varied. Let's look at four of the problems which challenge our theory of knowledge today. Challenge number one is binary classification. This is the tendency to create binary categories, where objects or ideas are either one thing or another, without allowing for shades of gray or in-between categories. The binary nature of the classification system can lead to emphasis on characteristics denoting difference, and disregard for those characteristics which are shared between the two categories. For example, in the field of gender studies, the classification of people into only two binary genders has been challenged by the recognition of non-binary genders, which fall outside of the traditional male-female binary. To address this, many scholars are proposing new ways of classifying gender, such as a spectrum or a system of multiple genders. Challenge number two is overlapping categories. This is the potential for categories to overlap, making it difficult to determine where an object or idea belongs. For example, the classification of music genres can be subjective and overlapping, making it difficult to determine which genre a particular artist belongs to. Which music genre would you place the 1986 Run DMC Aerosmith hit, Walk This Way, into? Some fields are attempting to address this by creating hybrid categories or using multiple descriptors to better capture the complexities of the object or idea. Challenge number three is incomplete or inaccurate information. Classification systems rely on accurate and complete information about the objects or ideas being classified. However, in many cases, information may be incomplete or inaccurate, making it difficult to create meaningful categories. An example of the problem of incomplete information concerns the giraffe. In 2016 geneticists found that giraffes should actually be divided into four distinctly different species. Our mistake of grouping these species into one category was due to a lack of information about the genetic profile. Modern technology has allowed us to map the genome of the giraffe, thus revealing it to be four different species. To address the problem of incomplete information, many researchers are working to improve the accuracy and completeness of data through new methods of data collection and analysis. This is an example of how new knowledge constantly evolves from that which is already known. Challenge number four is social construction and cultural bias. Classification systems are often socially constructed, with little or no objective basis in the empirical world. Further, classification systems can be strongly influenced by cultural biases, making it difficult to create objective categories. For example, the classification of race has been influenced by cultural biases and has been used historically to justify discriminatory practices. However, in 2003, Phase 1 of the Human Genome Project demonstrated that humans populating the Earth today are on average 99.9% .9 identical at the DNA level, as such there is no genetic basis for race, and there is more genetic variation within a race than between them. To address this, many scholars are working to develop new, more objective ways of understanding ethnicity that are not influenced by cultural biases. In summary, classification systems are constructed by humans as convenient ways for us to organize and understand knowledge. In doing so we lose some of the complexity and interrelatedness of the world around us. The classification system placed on top of the external world may result in us seeing causal relationships where none exist, and missing the causal relationships that do exist. If you found this video useful, and would like to support our knowledge community, please press like, or even subscribe. Your appreciation is much appreciated. To find more resources for theory of knowledge go to our YouTube channel, or go to talktoday.com. Thank you for watching, I wish you a talktastic day.